Now, just a bit about relapsed and or refractory patients with myeloma. This is a study reported by uh, Paul Richardson from the Data Farmer. 669 patients in a multi-institutional study randomized to bortezomib or to uh, dexamethasone, time to progression. Six months with the bortezomib, three and a half months with dexamethasone, and the survival, 29.8 months with bortezomib versus 23.7 months for the dexamethasone. This is an important uh, study, uh, 009 and 010, uh, identical protocol, uh, 009 done in Europe, uh, 010 in uh, North America, and the results were were the same, basically, and so I've just combined them here. Uh, over 700 patients, uh, response rate, 60% uh, with the uh, lenalidomide dexamethasone versus 22% for dexamethasone alone, and the time to progression, 11 months versus 4.7 months. Another uh, agent that we are particularly interested in is palmolidomide, which is a third generation uh, drug, uh, thalidomide, then uh, lenalidomide, and now uh, palmolidomide. It's given by mouth, it's well tolerated, it does cause neutropenia and thrombocytopenia, and the dosage needs to be altered. Uh, in uh, this report uh, uh, by my colleague Martha Lacey, uh, these patients were treated uh, after they had become resistant to both lenalidomide and bortezomib. And they have a PR or better of 31%, which is quite credible for patients who are refractory to these two novel agents. Now, you might ask, are we making any progress? And I think the answer is definitely yes. Uh, my colleague, Shaji Kumar, has looked at our experience with almost 3,000 patients at the Mayo Clinic. And the survival of these patients after 19, or who were diagnosed after 1996 was 44.8 months compared to those patients who were diagnosed before 1996 uh, when it was uh, uh, 29.9 uh, months, uh, 30 months. The difference being is that the patients diagnosed after 1996 had the option of autologous stem cell transplant and or the novel agents, thalidomide, lenalidomide, and uh, uh, bortezomib. He also looked at our patients who had had an autologous stem cell transplant and then had relapsed. And for those patients who were exposed to the three or to one of the three novel agents. The median survival was 30.9 months compared to 14.8 months for those patients who did not have the option of the novel agents. Today is, uh, is a uh, very promising one in the field of myeloma. I'm only going to list uh, four agents here. I suspect that uh, Dr. Uh, 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 Stewart will go into greater detail in this regard, and I want to just mention uh, one of the histone deacetylase inhibitors, Verinostat or Saha. Uh, approval has been completed on a, a prospective randomized uh, study. Uh, results of, or analysis and results are not yet available. There's a new proteasome inhibitor that's given orally, NPI0052. Another very interesting uh, agent is carfilzomib, which is a proteasome or agrosome inhibitor. 
and uh, uh, this uh, agent is just uh, entering uh, a large phase three study of which Dr. Stewart is a uh, co-PI uh, uh, on, and we're really looking forward to the results of that. And the fourth drug is the pomalidomide that I just mentioned a couple of minutes ago. So in short, uh, this is a very uh, exciting and promising time uh, in uh, multiple myeloma. Thank you very much.